this video. This is video number 20 of T's Math Tips and we're going to convert some Arabic numerals to Roman numerals. Arabic numerals are these three numbers here, numbers we're used to all the time. And if you watch video number 19, video number 19, it actually led to those same exact answers. But now what we want to do here is go backwards. And we have 964. You want to take each place value and you want to work on each place value individually. For example here, 900. Don't worry about the 60, don't worry about the 4. 900. Well, one thing you might consider doing is taking the D, which is 500, and then taking 4 C's. And if you watch video number 19, uh, I mentioned something about putting a smaller in front of a bigger. And now what I want to stress to you is that you cannot put four of the same thing beside each other. Now one would look at this and think, okay, so the D is 500, the C is 100, so we have 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. And one would think that's correct. Well, not for Roman numerals. And let me show you what we want to do here. Uh, just keep in mind, you don't want to put four of the same Roman numeral beside each other. So if I come and do this, if I put a C and then an M, and I want you to think back to video number 19. The C represents a 100, the M represents a 1000. So we have a smaller number in front of a bigger number, and this is where you want to subtract. So 100 subtracted from 1000 is the 900. There's our 900. Now let's focus on the 60, because this is 900. This is 60 because we have six tens. Well, for 60, we can write that as a L for 50 and then a X for 10. You don't want to put six X's beside each other. You don't want to put four or more of any Roman numeral beside each other. So therefore, the L is 50, the X is 60. And now for four, if you think about a grandfather clock, the way you see four on a grandfather clock, you don't see one, two, three, four, because we cannot put four of anything beside each other. So one way to do this is to take a tally and put it in front of a V. The tally represents one. The one is in front of a V, which is five. So five minus one is four. And if we put all this together, CMLX, tally V, that is going to be 964 as a Roman numeral. And right here in video number 19, that's what we had originally, and we did convert that to Roman numerals. So CMLX tally V, CMLX tally V. So that is our Roman numeral. All right, this next one here, 438. So 400, we don't want to put four C's, but what we can do is we can subtract 100 from 500. To take care of the 400, let's put a C in front of the D. The C is 100, the D is 500, so 500 minus 100 is 400. That's the first part. The three, that's three tens. There's nothing wrong with us putting X, X, X there. 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30, and now let's focus on the eight. The eight, we can write as five, six, seven, eight. So V, tally, tally, tally. Notice we don't have four of anything here, so let's just combine it all together. C, D, followed by three X's, V, and a tally, tally, tally. This is going to be 438 as a Roman numeral. Comparing this back to video number 19, C, D, X, 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 V, tally, tally, tally. Perfect. And now the last one here. So we can write this one representing a thousand as an M. M is 1,000. 200, well, we can put two C's beside that. We're not putting four of anything beside each other yet. So the two C's represent the 200. And now the 40, okay? What we don't want to do here for this four right here, the four in the 10 spot, we don't want to do X, 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 X because we don't want to put four of anything beside each other. So we can subtract 10 from 50. Let's put the X in front of the L. The X represents 10, the L represents 50. So 50 minus 10 gives us that 40. And now let's think about this four. Well, again, back to the grandfather clock. The four is represented as a tally with a V because this is five minus one. 
And now if we check this back with video number 19, let's see if it matches up. MCC XL Tally V. MCC XL Tally V. Perfect. And there you have it, three examples of converting an Arabic numeral to a Roman numeral. The thing to keep in mind here is you don't want to put four of any Roman numeral beside each other. And now if you did go up to say 4,000 and you know, for the T's test, you don't have to worry about this, but if we had 4,368, what we couldn't do here for the 4,000, we could not write M, 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 M. So one may be thinking, well, how in the heck do we do it having a 1,000 as a M? If you're curious about that, I encourage you to Google it. You know, how do you handle 4,000 or how do you handle 10,000? Because, you know, this list here is limited. I've only given you 1, 5, 10, 50, 100, 500, and 1,000. So we can't do M, 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 M. But if you're curious about that, go do a quick Google search and I'm sure you can get that answer. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.